Northwest Reptile Expos. Uh, they are Seattle Metro Reptile Expo and Portland Metro Reptile Expo together. They held an expo in Monroe, Washington today and uh, I drove from Spokane to Monroe. This morning I left at 5 and got there at uh, 10. I um, come back with several different creatures. I'm really excited. I'm really tired so please forgive me. I have kind of have a headache and uh, a stomach ache and I just been in the car for a long time. I'm really introverted and um, I think I'll talk more about what happens to me when I'm in crowded places and I'll, I'll, I'll talk about that another time but it's it's really taxing um, for my brain. Every booth that I went to I couldn't remember any of the scientific names and I could barely speak. did find some Nubia roaches, like 12 or at least 12 in here. So there's two males and the rest are females and there are actually some some nymphs in here. There's one right there. Oh, sorry little guy. Anyway, so I'm, I'm gonna start my, my own Nubia colony, finally. I also picked up some Dalmatian isopods. There was a dozen of them in here. I'm actually really excited about these. They're so cute and I really need them because I have several species of tarantula that, you know, they're going to go down into their burrows and it's going to be really hard to get in there to clean it out. So. Yeah, well, this little guy, part of my cleaning crew. He's really adorable. Looks like they're eating some carrot and um, some apple. They've got some leaves in here. The dubias come from the bugs zone, specializing in exotic invertebrates. There are three different people here that they list their phone numbers and their email addresses. They had a lot of mantids and um, phasmids. So, hey Sam. The next one that I, I visited was Ericsson Exotics and I know some of my fellow uh, Tarantula YouTube Facebook group members like this Facebook page. Uh, Adam Erickson and Danielle Malloy and what I got from them I have a Ceratogyrus darlingi rear horned baboon picked this one up for 25 and um, it's it's quite good sized here it is in here uh, we're looking about about like that and that's kind of crunched up a little bit so that's that's a nice little one. H. Pulcropes. Uh, this is a nice, also a nice size sling. I mean, it's kind of curled up and we're still talking about like this. Um, they don't have measures on, measurements on them, but um, this one came from Simon Elliott of Raining Reptiles and Invertebrates. And actually, I got the Dalmatian isopods from Raining reptiles from Simon Elliott. So the isopods and the H. Polka piece came from Simon. And the last place that I shopped at was Twisted Silk Exotics from Forest Grove, Oregon. Um, Aubrey Sidwell. And they have a Facebook page, Twisted Silk Exotics, all one word. And from them, I got a Haplocosmia Himalayana, the Himalayan Earth Tiger. And it's a little sling in here, probably about that big. And I uh, paid $14 for this one. 
really excited. It's a beautiful species. Um, yes. And the other one is this Afona Pelma Simani, the Costa Rican zebra. And this is a very scared little thing. This one also came from Twisted Silk and it was part of someone's collection. It's unsexed. And we're gonna get this one rehoused into something larger. Uh, it'll be temporary. I'm gonna put put this one into a one of these Tupperware bins. I'm gonna go ahead and put some substrate in for this one. Get this one rehoused. See if maybe if it's hungry. Um, yeah, I just don't want to see him so nervous anymore. Alright, I'm struggling to <laughs> put together this enclosure. It's very simple for now. I guess my brain is just not functioning very well. Alright, just wanted to put a few leaves in here. This is for the Afonapoma simani. Put some of these leaves in. And uh, I'm doing a kind of a starter burrow here hide here for right now. Put a water dish here in the corner. Some water. I've heard that the A. Simani can be a little bit skittish, so I want to take some precaution and And uh, here's my Afuna Palma Simani. It's the Costa Rican zebra. It looks very uh, scared. I didn't know if this one was male or female, so it is what it is. Okay, I'm hoping for a smooth transfer. Oh, I'm kind of nervous. Um, don't know how this this one is going to uh, feel. I mean, it looks very uh, scared. You can just get him to come out easily. Oh, looks like <laughs> maybe we got a defensive one here. Okay. All right, little one. I just want you to come out. Come on. Uh oh. There we go. Come on, you'll be happy once you're out. Make sure we don't have a, a runaway. Let's give him a minute to get calmed down. He's checking the, the corner to see if it's, um, a way out. No, no, I think sometimes they don't know what to do with so much space. I'm gonna pull this off and give you a, a peek. He, is, he or she is beautiful. I don't know if this one will get darker. Maybe it, it will molt, but it has really pretty markings. I'm really happy when they go into a bigger enclosure. I'm gonna try to feed this one. Um, see if he's hungry. Never know. Okay. There goes that theory that they're not comfortable and don't want to eat when they get home. This one just looks hungry to me. I would imagine this one could use a second roach. Sorry, that was behind uh, the leaf. So this one is unsexed and um, really it doesn't matter if this is a little boy, um, could be a little boy who's going to mature out, could already be mature, I honestly don't know. Uh, either way, that's alright with me. I don't know, I think this little guy can just eat what he wants. Sorry Roach.
This is a beautiful species, I can tell already. He or she, the hair almost looks pink, light pink and gray, a gray brown, and the stripes are peach. Welcome to the family. What we're looking at here is the Haplocosmia Himalayana, and this one is in its in its burrow right, right there. Take a look. The Haplocosmia Himalayana poking its little self out of its burrow. It's interesting, the web is in a circle. It's much like um, what the hobo spider made. 